video, I want to talk about a really important concept in calculus. In fact, it is the fundamental concept in calculus, right? It's the concept upon which everything else depends. And that is the concept of a limit. And so we've written here, limit of x tends to a of f of x is equal to l. Now what do you think, well, what does this mean? I so if we look at the, the graph I've drawn here, I've drawn the graph of functions at y equals f of x. Right, here's the point A, there's L, right, so at, at A, right, F has a different value, F has this value up here. So F of A sits up here. Okay. So now, <coughs> our intuition tells us that, well, you know, the limit of this function F, as X tends to A, should in fact be L. What does that mean? Well, you know, intuitively you may think that, well, that means that, you know, the closer you take x to a, right, the closer f of x will get to l. Right, and that's certainly what happens here, right? If we take x and we move it towards a from either side, right, then we can see is f of x, or in this case, it's over there, right, what will happen? Well, if we move x closer here from this side, right, f of x is going to go closer to l. Right, and if we move x closer to a from this side, f is going to go closer to l from below, from, from above. But this is, one has to be very careful. This is not exactly right. And if we look at, say, the following graph. And so let's say that's L. And that's A. Let's draw F of X over there. Right. Well, clearly in this case one wouldn't have, right, this is why it is f of x. In this case one wouldn't have if the limit as x goes to a f, f of x is l. Right, but still, you know, if you take x closer to, to A, right, you see f of x is going to get closer to L. Okay. So you see, the problem is that it can't get close enough to L. Right. Now what does close enough mean? Well, if we look at this picture here, right, you'll see, right, no matter how close, you want to pick, you want f of x to be to l. Right. So suppose you say, well, I just want f of x to be there in this little green interval. Right. So you decide, I want f of x to be this close to l. Right. Well, then you can do that. Right. You just have to pick x close enough to a. And so if you pick x in here, right, then you see that f of x is going to be in there. Right, so if we put x there, that means f of x is going to sit in this little interval. Right. So what's the difference between what you're saying here and what you said before? Right. Like here we have that the closer x gets to A, the closer f of x gets to L. Well, the difference is that here we first specify how far we want f of x to be from L. Yeah. And then we say, okay, so if we want f of x to be this close to L, right, how far can we take x from A? Yeah. 
So here it's not just a matter of f of x getting closer to L. Right? What we're saying is we can get f of x as close to L as we like. And not as, much, not as close as I like or as, much, or as close as you like. But as close as anybody could want. Right? So that's the difference. Right? You must be able to get f of x as close as anybody could want to L. Now, how do we write that down mathematically? Well, let's see. Now, we first have to start by saying, well, how close do we want f of x to be to L? say that we want that the distance between f of x and L, right, which is given by absolute value of f of x minus L, must be closer than epsilon. Right, and now here, epsilon is some positive number. Right, so that means in our sketch over here, and if we're looking for f of x to be in an interval from L minus epsilon up to L plus epsilon. Right. And now we have to say, okay, well, if we want that, if we want absolute value of f of x minus L less than epsilon, how close must x be to A? Well, mathematically, we can express that as follows. We say there is a number delta bigger than zero. Right? This is the Greek letter delta. This is the Greek letter epsilon. Right? So we, we want this to be less than epsilon. Right? So we say, well, there is a number delta bigger than zero with the following property. So such that if distance between x and a is closer than, is less than delta, right? So, that means here, right, we have this little interval around a, right, so from a minus delta to a plus delta, right? In other words, the absolute, if you, if you pick x in here, Right? And the absolute value of x minus a will be less than delta. Right? But now we have to be very careful. Right? If we look at what f does at a, right? and you will see that this f of a right, is outside this interval. Right? That's okay. It just means that we have to exclude the point a itself from our calculation. Right? So that means that this absolute value has to be bigger than zero. Right, so we're looking for every point in this interval except at A itself. Right. So if absolute value of x minus A is between 0 and delta, right, so we're in this little interval, right, then f of x must be in this little interval. Right, so we have then absolute value f of x minus L is less than epsilon. Right, now remember, we have to be able to do this for any epsilon, right? Remember, we, we have to be able to do this no matter how close we want f of x to be to L. Right. So, that means that we now, we now formulate the definition. We say the following. Now, we just have to say that it's for any positive number epsilon. Right. 